shit smooth in here, right? So whatever you oh, say, so you know, Chad gonna have, have everything up there. Whatever you say, Chad's gonna be on YouTube with it, man. But I like you. Come on. So when I'm having debates with other hip hop people who are I hold to a high high regard and just in terms of opinion, um, I you can't can you can't compare Mike Dean to to Kanye. You can't compare him to Bink. You can't compare him to Dre, and you can't compare Rick Rubin to Dre, and you can't compare Rick Rubin to Russell Simmons. You can't compare Rick Rubin to really shit. So I like Rick Rubin. I think that he's really dope, but um, I don't think he's a god on, on any level creatively. I think he made a few um, classic beats that were really, really good for that time. And I'm really not trying to talk down on him. I'm really not. He made a few classic beats that were really good for that time. But, man, I don't know what rock you guys have been living under, but there's been some amazing things done creatively with those machines and everything, with sampling. And there's been a lot of things done that where shit, man, the, the sound. So I think he deserves all flowers, all flowers. I think... Um, I think actually more attention should be paid to him. I think um, if he helped create um, Def Jam in, in his NYU dorm room with Russell Simmons, um, Russell Simmons, who is one of our heroes and one of our greats, still one of mine, uh, he's been portrayed in every way as everything or anything bad that you can possibly portray him as. He's been... It's well documented, all of the drugs that he likes is well documented, all of the girls that were around, all of the things in which he engaged in, and all of the things that he did that um, maybe wouldn't paint him in such a favorable light. It was a long period of time where I thought that that was just a part of elevating. But you ever saw that movie Three Amigos where the guy was like a really fast shot? I think he just, the, the more that I see that... Um, being painted in a, in a, in a non-favorable light is not part of it at all, unless you're a black man, you're a black hero. I would really like to know what kind of drinking and drugging that, that Rick Rubin partook in, or if he was into that type of shit. I like to know about my hip hop figures. I like to know um, what kind of girls he liked. Um, I like to know if he used profanity. I like to know what he was doing in that same little dorm room while while Russell Simmons was being the most horrible Negro that you can ever even imagine. I'd like to really know that. And then I'd also like to know, I'd like, to be, I'd like for it to be a little bit more detailed and documented who did what, because I'm going to take a bet and I'm going to go out on a limb. And I'll the, the more. With all due respect, I don't think, I don't think Rick Rubin is capable of even thinking a thought that can, that can, that's comparable. I really don't. I really don't. But I think he's got a really cool energy. I think he's like... I think it's really cool when the cameras show up, he's always sitting Indian style with no shoes on. And I think that he's always, uh, he's always he's always in situations where he's a part of things that are a big deal. And he's very, very, very instrumental and in, um, very instrumental in uh, helping cultivate and nurture our culture. I think, um, I think who he is as a, as an executive and who he is as just a um, as just a, a a being that exists in our culture that that should um, flowers should be given.